Last week we looked at Visio Divina, praying with pictures or icons. And today I want to share a way of praying that you can use in your family or with friends or in a small community with the scriptures. And this form of prayer is very useful when, with others, after the prayer, you can share your reflections with one another. The first thing you ought to do is prepare a scripture text. You might want to begin with a text like Isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 to 7, or Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 to 20, or one of the readings of Pentecost. If you're alone, prepare a place. If you're going to pray as a family, come together around a lighted candle or a flower or another symbol that you hold dear. You can maybe even place an open Bible between you on a table. Then take some time to become calm and still. Read the scripture text you have chosen. Read it slowly three times. Perhaps different members of the group or of the family can take turns in reading that script. After the first time you've read it, invite each person to listen for a word or a phrase that rarely strikes them. After the third time the reading has been heard, have a time of silence, maybe three or four or five minutes or whatever length you choose. Each person is asked to stay simply with the word or the phrase that struck them. Then invite everyone after the silence to talk to God about that word or that phrase. That word or that phrase that they heard is a stepping stone into conversation with God. Tell God why it strikes me, what it means for me, what it evokes in me. And then you can invite each person to share that word or phrase spoken to them and listen attentively to one another. You might want to share a little more than that word or phrase, why it struck you, or you can simply just repeat that word or that phrase. Remember, each person must simply offer what they want and we receive it as gift. You can end that time of prayer by praying individually for one another, or you can even end by praying the Our Father. This is a very ancient method of prayer called Lectio Divina, praying with the divine word. And it works very well with things like the Psalms. Use the Pentecost scriptures in this week ahead if you like. Listen to the words that strike you and speak to you. This method of prayer or any that you know and use will help you really encounter God's word. When we as a community are still not gathering for worship, this is a particular powerful way of soaking ourselves in God's Word, allowing God's Word to speak to our hearts through the Word and through our sharing with one another. It's a way of really living into God's Word. And so I invite you in this week ahead, give it a try. Use the method of Lectio Divina.